Hey, it's your girl Misha Azali and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'll only take a second to do and it's absolutely free. I'm currently in my car. I just got to the park. I am going to walk around the park um, to finish my steps for the day. For the last two weeks, I've been doing 10,000 steps a day and I've also been doing um, four workouts a week on top of the 10,000 steps. I do have to get better with my eating, um, but yeah. All right, so I finally got out the car, I guess, which was the first step I needed to do. <sighs> Y'all, I am literally trying to force myself into doing this, which is crazy because why, why do I have to force myself? Like, it's, what time is it? It's 4.34. And I'm just now getting around to do this. I be self-sabotaging myself so bad. Like, I be wishing that everything that I got in my mind that I want to do for myself, if I just had the discipline to just get up and do it, no questions asked, no excuses, just do it. Man, I would be, I feel like I would be so much further than what I am. But I'm human, but I don't want to give myself any excuses because the self-sabotage is real and I need to stop doing it. Like I could wake up and be like, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. But when it's time to do it, it's not that, it's not that I'm being lazy it's just like I second guess everything. Maybe I shouldn't do this right now. Maybe I shouldn't do it this way. Like what the hell, just do it. I don't know what's wrong with me, but no more, no more excuses. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get in a mode to where I like plan my things out Basically just write down everything that I wanna do. Come up with some type of like plan to get it done and just do it. All gas, no brakes, no excuses, just do it. And that's kind of what I did today. Everything that I wanted to do today, even though I didn't do it earlier, like I should have, I'm still doing it right now, hours later, but I'm doing it. So yeah, we're gonna keep that up. If you're watching this and you're anything like me, you have things you wanna do, you have goals, whether it's eating right, um, getting fit, starting a business, switching jobs, just whatever it is, and you self-sabotage yourself like I do, or if you procrastinate like I do, my best advice to you and myself is to just do it no excuses and when I say do it put a blank line behind that do it tired do it late do it early just do it no excuses if you went to bed last night and said you're gonna wake up at 6 in the morning to work out and you woke up but you didn't work out and it's now 7 p.m. in the afternoon still do it I'm the type I used to beat myself up over messing up like if I set a deadline or said I wanted to do something at this time or if I said I'm not gonna drink any soda today and then I had a soda I would feel like my whole day is messed up instead of just picking up at that point and finishing my day off strong, I would just say, oh well, I already messed up for the day. I'll start again tomorrow. Tomorrow became a week later, two weeks later, months later, and still haven't been able to fully quit soda. So today is a new day. This moment is a new moment. I don't care if it's in the middle of the day. I don't care if it's at night. I'm saying start now just do it just do it and i'm taking this advice too 
because I know I can't be the only one that self-sabotage and procrastinate and put things off for the next day or mess up one little bit and think the whole day is messed up when it's really not. We just gotta be consistent. And y'all, I know I'm out of breath. That's why I'm out here walking. What the hell? This is why I don't like walking outside. I be hearing stuff in the bushes. Then I be feeling like I'm looking crazy to people driving by because I'm running and shit. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it, y'all. Lord be with me. I look crazy, but I'm still doing it. <laughs> I usually wear my ankle weights, but not today. I got on fuzzy socks, some Crocs, and some sweats. Cause like I said, I procrastinated today, but I'm still getting it done. And I still did my leg workout for today. I did it late, but I did it. All right, so I'm almost back at my car. So basically I completed one lap so far. Usually in order for me to get 10,000 steps, I would walk on the treadmill and it would take about an hour and 30 minutes. So I'm trying to, I guess it'll probably be the same. And it's only been, I don't know if y'all can see that, hang on. <laughs> It's only been about 15 minutes. So, I got about an hour and 15 minutes to go. And, man, this freaking cat, oh my gosh. Y'all, I am not scared of cats, but let me get on the sidewalk, I mean on the curb, because it's looking at me. Y'all, I hope I did not get attacked on camera. And I say that because the last time we were at this park, <laughs> me and my auntie, we were walking and this cat literally was tripping. It, like, I think it was hungry because it kept following us. It was meowing heck aloud. I think it was hungry and it was literally following us. So it started freaking me out. And I'm not even scared of cats, but it freaked me out. And that cat is back there looking at me. Okay. Okay, it turned around. <sighs> Forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Dang, these damn cats. Oh, I was saying, motivation don't work. We were lied to. Motivation does not last. So if you are, if you are relying on motivation to get your goals done or accomplish your goals, good luck because motivation does not last. We need determination. We need consistency. Because when I first started this lap 15 minutes ago, I was a little motivated. Now that I see it was only 15 minutes that passed by and I still have another hour and 15 minutes, I'm no longer motivated at all. So, but I'm gonna keep going. That's why I says it take. That's why I say it takes determination and consistency. Because if I was relying on motivation, I would have hopped in my car and I would have been on my way home. So I'm gonna keep going. So it takes about 15 minutes to cover one lap of the park. So I got about five more laps. Right? Yep. Including the one I'm on. But we're going to do it. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to say don't rely on motivation. Just work hard. Rely on consistency and determination. All right. So I'm about to start my fifth lap. And so, yeah, I got two laps left. I'm starting my fifth lap in about two minutes um, but this walk has been so peaceful I'm so glad that I came 
and just got out here because this walk is better than the treadmill it's not too hot it is a little breezy but i got on my windbreaker jacket and so it's helping but this this was way more better than just walking in my garage on the treadmill um but i did want to say i almost forgot i wanted to shout her out um her youtube channel dodash she that's my new favorite youtube channel <laughs> she's super inspiring super encouraging and she's part of the reason too why i said i'm not gonna make any more excuses i'm just gonna go whatever i say i want to do i'm just gonna do it and not overthink it <clears throat> but i forgot to shout her out earlier so shout out to her again her youtube channel is dodash and she's doing her thing right now but um yeah i just wanted to say that but y'all it's getting um a little later i think by the time i finish my steps it should be darker and hopefully i'll catch the sunset hopefully i'll catch the sunset but we'll see until then i'm going to continue walking and listening to my music so like i said i usually take an hour and a half to hit 10,000 steps and it's been an hour and 19 minutes. And let's see. Refresh that. All right, so 8,962 is where we at right now. And I'm at my car, so. I'm just gonna finish it off. I'm still gonna hit my 10,000 steps. So I know it's not gonna take me a full lap. So I'm gonna probably do half of the lap and come back. But if I get like to the corner or a little bit up there more and I hit 10,000, I'm just gonna turn around. But I'll probably do a half a lap and then I'll hit it. But yep, I'm just now passing my car. So got a little bit more to go. We're knocking this out. Perfect timing. I just hit my 10,000 steps and I got to see the sunset while it's currently setting. And it's so pretty in person. All right, so I finally hit my 10,000 steps for the day. I'm gonna show y'all. So I still got my watch going, but let's see. So an hour and 33 minutes. I'm gonna stop that. And refresh it. So as you can see, I'm over 10,000. So yeah, 10,137 steps for today. It's 6.06 .06 p.m. And I got more than an hour and 25 minutes of sleep. I only wore my watch just to walk. So that's not accurate, but the steps are accurate. I actually walked more than that. I just didn't have my watch on earlier, but I like to go off um, my watch. So I'll put it on when I'm ready to actually do my 10,000 steps. So I hit my goal. I'm glad I did. That was actually... I actually needed that um, like I said the weather was perfect to do that walk um, it was a little bit over it wasn't even a full six and a half laps it was like six laps and just like I ended up cutting through the park um, and hitting over that 10,000 steps so I'm glad I did that mentally I needed that I got out got some you know some sunlight I got to see the sunset it's still going down now but yeah I needed that if you watch this whole video I do want to thank you again if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you are returning thank you for coming back you can go ahead and hit the thumbs up button that will help me um, it'll help me out a lot it'll help YouTube push my videos for other viewers to watch it um, but yeah I want to say thanks again and y'all will be seeing me soon because I'm gonna continue to be consistent no matter what and remember we're gonna do it sleepy we're gonna do it tired we're gonna do it late we're gonna do it early 
whatever it takes, just do it, get it done. And that's our mindset going forward. I'll talk to y'all later.